What's up everybody, this is Lord Snoot and this is, I believe, episode 7 of Project Ozone 2 Kappa Mode. Now, just to bring you guys up to speed, what I've done while you've been away is I've put a couple of uh, open blocks fans with some levers to turn them on and done the same round this side and that'll blow the mobs onto these two iron spikes which we've made which is wooden and then iron so not much in there made a trash can um, and now I'm looking at these storage drawers because we are now gathering up all of the loot bags etc so we need to get some sort of solution for that these are getting gathered by this advanced item collector I'll just show you that uh, advanced item there it is a couple of glowstone a diamond with an item collector and that is redstone end pearl hopper and an obsidian tool rod which we made in the smeltery so we need to go ahead and make a draw controller that's going to be the first major step towards the uh, organizing of all the loot and stuff and I think and what my thoughts are is I might pull all the loot underground and make a big storage area under here just for all the mob drops and stuff like that that's going to be very handy so let us without further ado get cracking with the draw controller so go to a crafting bench draw controller is from storage drawers mod and it's some brass which is three copper and one zinc so I've just been cooking that up a couple of drawers which we've seen but then there's this little recipe in here so we're gonna need some cobble transport pipe and some diamond transport pipe and that should be enough to make the logistics pipes and that should be enough for a draw controller so what we can do get rid of all that is we can put a transfer node on the underside of this and it'll pull everything out put it into the draw controller and I think I might just do a whole set of storage drawers just clear that up now if you're wondering what this little contraption is I've made a stone barrel and this is another uh, connection to the fluid node the transfer node with liquids that's pumping lava in and this water on top mixes with the lava into obsidian within the barrel and then this uh, transfer node is pulling them out into there and you can see we've got 380 odd you put this on top to stop the barrel getting rainwater in although it seems a bit counterintuitive that there's water on top of it and I've just put some forged micro blocks on just to keep the water where we want it that's going to come in handy when we need to be looking at QEDs etc so the next step is we're going to have to grab a load of wood and we will start making some storage drawers we're going to go a bit crazy because we think we're going to need quite a lot so hopefully that's a good start well I'll just make all the finish these ones off and we burnt through that wood crazy quick but that's okay we can get wood whenever we want it can I make a couple more I think we can get one more out of that can't we we can so 27 so what I think I will do is like I say let's find where we're gonna be going so if we pull down from there like so I think I'll just carve a big 
hole underneath. Yeah, I like that. We'll carve a big hole underneath and we'll make a big storage drawer section. So what I will do is I will put a cut in. I will get that crack in. And I will bring you guys back when that's all sorted out. So see you in... Well, two ticks for you. I don't know how long it's going to be for me. Okay, see you in a bit. All right, everybody, we are back. And as you can see, items are starting to get pulled out of the diamond chest. So we're working. Not as quick as I would like, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So down here, I've just run some pipe down at the back of the drawer controller. And then, yeah, set up a few spruce storage drawers they can hold 2000 and odd each before we put any um, upgrades in so we can bear that in mind if we need to go and store more so that's working nicely hopefully that will pull out the loot bags as well let's just see what happens don't want that going in we'll get rid of that and that in the meantime so loot bags are going, now are they going to the same drawer? They are, so they stack inside storage drawers. That is excellent. Really good news. So next on the agenda, let's get rid of that bow. In fact, we don't need any of that. Is a compacting drawer. So that's four more brass and two more drawers. And that looked like a crafting table, so two more drawers, that's going to be 12 of those, Oops. do that quickly, compacting, this one, a compressed crafting table which is nine crafting tables, Nine fours are thirty six. So that's nice and straightforward. And then we've got, so that's these, we've got that downstairs, and then the compactors. So we're going to need two of these. So two more crafting tables and eight pistons. Two more crafting tables. And then we're going to want 24 wood for the pistons. Along with 32 of those. And this is going to kill our redstone because if you remember, it's red alloy ingots. And fortunately, we have some of the nether ores, so we'll get that cooking. And then the other part to this is more red alloy. Oh, that gives us 12 though. So that's two of those. That's only eight. So that's easy enough. In fact, we might have the stuff. Was there any of that alloy ingot left? There wasn't. So we need to wait for that to cook up. While that is cooking up, I will show you what's going on around here. Whoop. Nice basic automation. So we've got I did go ahead and get another interaction upgrade. That's now pulling cobble into this entropy accelerator. I had a load of sand in there. There it is still going. And this is nice and slow, and I mean nice and slow. And that's doing our sieving automatically for us. I will just make sure this is chunk loaded. It is. So we can go ahead and put this redstone down. XP, what have we got? That should be enough. I need to put that with some iron. And what I think I'll do is I'll just make all of this, even if we need it or not, because I know for sure we're going to need it in the future out of iron.
18. That should get us our pistons, but we're going to need more iron for those pistons. And it was 8. We're going to have to do some cooking up of stuff. In fact, we could automate the smeltery. That might not be a bad idea. So to do that, we're going to want a hopper, a hopper, and a chest. We'll need a redstone clock. So two hoppers, and a chest, four stone, a redstone torch, and some more redstone, so we should have that on us. Then we're going to want a lever, so four stone. And a lever to turn that on and off. So that's nice and straightforward. I'll show you a nice simple way to do this. So, hopper for. Now, then that micro block's in the way. So, hopper for material to go in. Let's hope chests don't get set on fire. Hopper for material to come out. Then we want our redstone clock on here. There we go. Now then. We need to knock that off because otherwise we're going to get some invar. Where we don't want it. So we need to pull the invar out. And then we should have... While we're doing this, that's given us all the time for everything to make the compacting drawer. Which we won't put to any use just yet, but it will be handy in the future. That's empty, we can grab that. Let's go and get our red alloy ingot, I believe it's called. Yes it is. So we want eight pistons. So, Well, first off we need this stuff done pistons what are we missing wood just eight thank you forgot the brass let's go and nip and get the brass Missing crafting tables. Go through so much wood in this. Well, it's mine. Go through so much of everything. Um, two. That's one. That's two. That's our compacting draw, so that should be a quest done. It's not it's not flashing up. Let's check. Yep, yeah, that's good. And that has given us a good reward bag. Tape measure. That's all right. We can make use of that. stay organized in this pack I'm telling you people otherwise you're gonna end up in all sorts of bother so let's go and have a little look at how we're doing down here is this empty yet and then we'll have a look at what's required to make the speed upgrade that's the fan blowing me there Whee. So yeah, sure enough, we're getting, I'll probably rearrange this in the future, but yeah, loot bags galore, 
that's what I like to see. So I probably need to make some sticky tape to get those um, moving. We could look at doing some upgrades. We've got gold, we've got obsidian. Four diamonds. Let's have a little look at that. So we are going to need loads of wood. Let's get a couple of stacks of that. So the first thing we need is sticks round a draw. In fact, we have a chest in there, I believe. Sticks. That's not a draw. That's a draw. Now we'll go down to our goodies and we'll have a look at what we have down here. So we are going to need iron, gold, diamonds, obsidian, which is upstairs. We don't have enough emeralds, so that's going to do it. So, have we got enough obsidian in here? We do. So, right. iron upgrade, please. Yeah, we'll do two into gold two into diamond out of s no sticks what are we missing oh obsidian into obsidian two into diamond two we don't need to worry about using those just yet so that should be we're going to need four emeralds. We had one downstairs. And one there. I suppose we could open some of these loot bags, see if we can get some emeralds. Uncommon. Now what we could do, we could be sneaky actually. could open them on this chest and pull all of the goods back in. Let's grab this little lot. So we're probably going to need to, ex if we keep doing this, we're definitely going to need to expand that area but that's not no bad thing did we get any emeralds we did not unless it's already pulled them might as well do them all plenty of room in there Still no emeralds. Hmm, you know it. They're going to get pulled out. So I think what we'll do in between episodes, let's just have a look at how we make sticky tape. This is what you use to move the drawers without spilling all the contents. So three paper and a slime. That should be relatively straightforward. So yeah, I think. We'll definitely organise that a little bit better because that's soon going to add up. Just looking at it. Hopefully everything stacks inside those drawers. That's where we're stuck on the emeralds. And for this we are going to need... And that's quite straightforward. Burnt quartz. Is that... So that's going to be quite straightforward. Ender pearls, big supply of ender pearls. So that, and then obviously we're going to need ender pearls there, ender pearls and obsidian there. Okay, so 
and that's what we're going to be stockpiling we have got some hopefully this soon being pulled out so yeah i think what we'll do is at this present time we will put in a cut and or call it a day and i will see you guys in the next one hopefully with enough stuff to get going down qeds and that'll start us in two i believe and IO because this machine chassis steel iron bars and capacitors on a qed we are going to need gold redstone galore so yeah that's what's coming thank you ever so much for joining me once more and i will see you people in the next one see you later